sisters and brothers, there are nearly 3 million uh, people from across the European Union who live and work here in Britain. And we should say absolutely loud and clear that they're not health tourists taking beds and denying health care to British-born workers. They're not people who are taking school places from British-born children that they're not taking the homes of British-born people. They are our sisters and brothers who help to keep our public services running. Just think back, just five years ago, the Olympics were held here in this country, and at that time, at that time, governments were boasting. They were saying, weren't they, that Britain was a place that welcomed people from all around the world, that you would find in London, the world in one city, a host community for every country competing in the Olympics. I remember distinctly that time because I lived in Stratford, the town where most of the Olympic stadia were situated and I remember in the years before the Olympics were held here who it was that came and built those stadia. Who were the brick workers? Who were the concrete layers? Who were the carpenters? Who were the electricians? They were people from all over Europe who came and built that stadium. Why? Because there weren't enough people born in Britain. So at that time European Union workers were welcome in this country. It's the same with the health.